on cargo trailers. We're here on the premises of Rock Solid Cargo Trailers, one of our biggest manufacturers that we use. Um, today, I'm gonna to be showing you an eight and a half by 36. It is a toy hauler, so it has a bathroom. Um, he's gonna be putting his own beds and cabinets and stuff of that nature in here. But pretty much I got him ready to put some cars in as, long, as well as some electrical, ACs, you know, stuff like that. So this is a 36 foot trailer. All right, in the front, we're also gonna show you he has a little compartment to put extra batteries and stuff like that in there. But what this is, this is your box. Here you have your metal walls, white metal walls, as well as your white metal ceilings, and your RTP floor that is included in a race pack. He also did two rows of E-Track. This is to haul his motorcycles as well as cars. He does um, like classic cars, goes to shows, buys and sells, does a bunch of trading. But this is a 36 foot trailer. Um, it's probably 28 foot worth of box, pretty good size. In here he has his electrical package, so you can see he has some lights in the ceiling as well as two 15,000 BTU ACs that do have heat strips. So he wanted to make this thing as cold as possible, that's the way to do it. He's going to be putting a bed here that lifts and rises, that's why he did the spoiler in the back, so you has got a big blank spot for his mattress to lay. Um, this trailer also comes equipped with a 6,000 pound ramp door, it's a 6,300 pound ramp door, considered to be a super duty ramp with double spring assist. So this will hold 6,300 pounds rotating weight. So it is a heavy duty ramp door that's gonna hold a bunch. Uh, on this trailer, he has some 12 volt lights. He doesn't have any on the inside in here, but he does have some on the outside. Uh, he has a couple different bar lights, as well as he has two awnings on the outside, and we'll show you that here in a second. Um, but he has his 12 volt switches. These are gonna be for the two lights in the back, the loading lights, the ones for the spoiler, as well as the loading lights on the three inch top trim. These are gonna be your 12 volt lights. Regular 110 recepts. We have a couple in this trailer. There is a total of six evenly spaced in this box. This right here, um, he also did a Lippert stabilizing jack. So it's actually an electric jack that goes to the dirt. This is a switch to extend or retract, um, basically like a camper would have. Those legs let out, when they let out, it automatically stabilizes the trailer instead of having like a scissor jack, you know, with an impact or something, manually doing it. All right, so this is a stabilizer jack kit that we put in this trailer. On the front and on the rear, he has two stabilizers. We have in this trailer some 30 by 30 windows. So you have two 30 by 30 horizontal sliders. So they slide horizontal. They're tinted from the outside. They do have screens. You can open them and close them. Um, very easy to do. All right. He did two of them here. One on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Here, this is going to be your two awning switches. So on this trailer, it is a 36 foot trailer. The biggest awning we offer is a 25 foot. So we did a 25 foot plus an eight, I do believe. So there's two awnings on this trailer. Two separate switches, big one in the front, small one in the back. Um, 12 volt lights, this is gonna be for your outside. There's two 13 inch bar lights with a 45 degree angle on them on the outside of the trailer. That would be for them. This is your 110 interior lights, okay? This is our partition wall. You can do a partition wall if you want a separate room, you want a bathroom, a little closet area, you can do a partition, all right? This is covered in aluminum and it does have a 24 inch door in here. Um, this is our bathroom package, okay? So in our back bathroom package, it's gonna come with a partition wall, as well as your door, all that good stuff. This is your shower. Uh, it's gonna be a 32 by 32 surround. Um, Mr. Michael, he is a bigger fella. Um, and he fit pretty good in here. We done looked at it. But this is the shower, a 32 by 32 surround. As well in your shower or in your bathroom package, so to speak, you do have a hand wash sink. So it is a, if I'm not mistaken, a 12 by eight fold. Um, it has a four or six inch gooseneck faucet on it. This is your hand wash sink. Everything looks good, they caulked it up, it looks nice. In the bathroom package, depending on what size you do, eight foot, six foot, it really tells you on what you have left. I always tell people, um, they think their bathroom's gonna be big enough, and most of the time, the space, they're thinking it's a little bit bigger than what it is. So really pay attention to how much space you're actually gonna work with when you're drawing stuff. Uh, back here, it's just some spot, I don't know, he can put a suitcase or bags, whatever the case may be. I know they're gonna hang a mirror out here for a little vanity. Uh, vanity right. mirror. Under here, there ain't really storage. Basically, up under here is all your plumbing for your, basically your shower, your sink, all that good stuff. This would be the plumbing for it. So it's just to hide it. This is your RV style toilet. Um, basically, it just has a little spot here you push, it flushes it, all that good stuff. Pretty good bit of room. I'm 5'11", so you know, I fit good. Um, on the window, something that he did do is, I really like this, he has a window in the bathroom, all right? You can see out. It is tinted, you can see in, but I mean, you can't see in all the way, but you can't see in. So, um, slides, it's a vertical slider, so it slides up, you get some wind in here, slides down, you see out when you're using the bathroom. 
as well as in your bathroom package, it's going to come with a 110 volt um, fan. That is a 110, it's a metal blade, it's a stinky fan. And also to pull out the heat out the top of the shower. But this is your bathroom package. And on your bathroom package, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on it, it's $42.99, it could be $43.99, but that is the shower, the sink, the toilet, all the plumbing, partition wall, door, stinky fan, all that good stuff, the windows not included. Though. All right, you guys, so this is that eight and a half by 36. We are kind of inside the plant, so it might be a little bit loud. Um, this is a Super Duty ramp door. So that Super Duty ramp door, it's rated for 6,300 pounds, rotating weight. Um, basically how you do that, it does have more tubes in it, so it's gonna make it stronger, as well as right here, you have a spot that you're gonna put a jack post in. So when you put that jack post in, it just adds a little bit more stability, so no flex in your ramp. Um, on this trailer, Mr. Michael, he also did a spoiler. So a spoiler you can get it with or without lights. You can get two of the 13 inch bar lights, like you see. And in your race package, it also comes with two loading lights as well, with the two square ones up top, all right? So that is in your race package. This trailer is done in a 24 inch ATP. Um, you know, it just helps when rocks and stuff hit it. It doesn't hit the side of your trailer and it just makes it a little bit flashy as well. Um, what we have is we have a triple spread axle. So he did 7,000 pound axles with a spread pattern. It matches the 24 inch ATP real good. Also on this trailer, you guys, this is that 080 polycore that we've been telling you about. So it is a multi-polymer sheet um, with an, a thin aluminum on top. This is 080, so the thickest trailer plants is always offered is a 050 only in white and black this is a 080 white black charcoal gray silver frost um, they offered in red they got all kind of different colors this is the way to go all right it's thicker you can't see the waves or the impressions it's a thicker sheet so it's going to lay flatter and at the same time you know like we always say it ain't gonna look like a tater chip bag all right he also did the blackout special on this trailer which is the black top trim bottom trim bar lot door has everything that's normally silver is actually black so also in your blackout special, it comes with aluminum sidewall vents, which you can see one up there, and then it also comes with your aluminum mags, all right? So aluminum mags, black and chrome flashy wheels, okay? Also comes with it. The 30 by 30 windows I was telling you about on the inside, they are tinted, so you can see you can't really see in too good, but those are the windows from the outside. Right, guys, on this trailer, we also did a electric jack, so basically it is a 5,000 pound electric jack, makes it easier for the big boys, you know, we ain't gotta sit there and wind it up and down, it goes up and down does have a light for dark areas this is um on this it's an adjustable coupler it is a ram adjustable coupler as well so it's actually pretty neat it flips up and it locks for you to back under you pick it up and pull it down and it locks okay adjustable coupler on this trailer on the bathroom package you also have to do an eight inch mainframe so that is what's on this trailer is the eight inch mainframe and i was telling you guys in the front of the trailer it has a little like a little closet compartment up front this is it so basically in here, he's gonna put, you know, all his, like his lawn chairs, um, drop cords, extension cords, all that good stuff. Um, has two panel boxes in here, cause this is a big trailer. So he did two panel boxes, as well as he has two batteries to power both of the awnings in there. Um, also has some lights in here. So when it's dark, he can see. Um, also, I believe on this wall, which it is, is for the actual stabilizing jack up under the bottom. You got a switch here for that. But it's just a nice little area. So if you do this, what you have to do is you have to do a three foot V nose and then you have to add a second partition wall. So you do a three foot V nose and then you add the partition wall about a foot and a half back and that'll give you a little closet up here. You have to do a three inch V nose, 72 inch draw bars, okay? What you have here is your city field center. This is gonna fill up your bathroom package, your shower, all that good stuff. I told you the trailer had two awnings. This is a 25 foot, the rear one is an eight. So it has two awnings on the trailer, complete shade, all right? This is the 15 by 30. This is located on the outside of the potty. Right. On this trail, he also did some GFIs. You never know when you're around a campsite or something like that. You need a coffee pot, a fan, a little TV. Right here, GFI. So basically, it's just a regular 110 with a GFI cover, um, ground fault interrupter. All right. On it. Also, I said we have some 12 volt lights on one side. So those are the 12 volt lights. The 13 inch bar light, 45 degree pitch. You can just see the outside. When the awnings come down and you turn on them lights, it's really going to make a very good lighting up under there. It's going to be great. Okay. All right, you guys, so like I said, this is an eight and a half by 36. Built this for one of my customers, Mr. Michael Jason Stevens. Very good fella, he's been patient with me. Um, pretty much, you know, you can contact us for all your trailer needs. Race trailers, we do bathrooms, we do pet grooming trailers, concession trailers, anything you can think of, we do it. And you can reach us very easy. We're on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, TikTok, all of that good stuff. The main thing, you can reach us on our website, which is 
www.renownedcargotrailers.com or our phone number, which is 888-287-3954. And as Lane always says, until then, y'all be blessed.